dreamers and welcome back to dream queen by perla so we have every taurus cusp um and this is your weekly reading um this energy that i'm picking up for you guys for this week it's it's mainly about sorry like my phone is charging and stuff um it it's more of an energy of like crossing your T's, getting organized, getting everything in place. Um, there, there's something, there is a system, let's put it this way, that has been working for you. There is a system that um, has allowed you to feel, to feel grounded, to feel in control of your life. Now, for some of you, it may have been a while since you felt this way. It may have been a while since you felt in control, since you felt like you, like you knew which direction your life was going in. Um, and, and it's almost like you're, you're holding to this control to the system with everything inside of you. You do not want to let it go. You're what normally, let's put it this way, when we normally say like when you're in your power, right, where you're not allowing outside influences and things like that really affect your choices and your decision. And that's pretty, um, that is pretty much the energy that I am um, picking up on you guys. There, There is a sense that there is somebody from your past or a situation from your past that may have ended a little chaotic, to be honest with you, where it's almost like the both of you knew that something was coming to an end. Now, whether this is romantically, platonically, um, work or whatever there there was not so much just of a hint but there could have been a conversation of you know something coming to an end so let's use this as an example you're you're putting your two weeks notice right so your employer knows that you're going to be leaving in two weeks um but the closer and closer you get to the two weeks like more and more chaos seems to um to appear um the more you're being called out for doing something wrong or something of that matter it's like nip like nitpicking on things that are really unnecessary so that's kind of like the energy that 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 is going on and it's like some of you are still holding on to trying to figure out why it had to end like that because it's like again there was a a mutual agreement or a mutual understanding that something was going to end that something was on its final stages but when somebody saw or like somebody saw the reality of something ha actually happening or occurring sorry like my stage is going um then they became bothered by it and they didn't want to face the fact of the matter and that energy is still lingering around so it could be that somebody is um trying to reconnect with yours trying to or is finding random reasons to like text you or send you messages when it's like okay this is done and over with can we just stop with the communication um uh, a lot of you, whatever the situation was, whether it was romantically or whether it was at work or socially, you, you felt trapped by it. You felt like you weren't living to your fullest potential. You felt like you had to restrict yourself or hold yourself back a lot when it came to this specific situation. So the freedom that you have encountered since ender, en ending that, ending that, excuse me, um, it's something that you're not willing to negotiate and it's something that you're not willing to give up. Um, there may, there may be this space of this energy of uncertainty when, when it comes to, uh, to the direction that your life is taking, um, after something ended. So it, it's almost like you know let's put it this way if it was in love you know that you don't want to be single but you'd rather be single than be in the situation that you were in but you're also kind of like questioning or there are these thoughts that kind of come across like well did i did i make a mistake um or should i should i be looking or should i just stay single like it, it's almost like you're somebody is questioning an ending and what to do or how to start right how to have a new beginning or how to have a new start in something 
And it's like, well, you already have a new star. The minute that something ended completely, there you're already in that energy of a new star. I feel that it's more of like not, you're not used to having this freedom. And even though it's exciting and even though it's something new and you really like it, it, it may seem a little overwhelming at first, right? So you know let's say you were living with somebody and now you're on your own so now it's like you're the one that has to focus on like what you're gonna have for dinner what you're gonna have for this there is no more splitting responsibilities with someone else it all falls down to you and that you know that can be overwhelming in the sense that there is adjustment right there's an adjustment period so there's no need for you to try and rush to to kind of like you know allow all of that to to fall into place right there's no need to rush into the adjust like during the adjustment period just see what works for you see what flows for you what allows you to to feel the most comfortable to be honest with you um anything else anything else that they need to know spirit anything else that we, they need to know don't don't question or yeah like don't question the decision of ending something it was time. It was long overdue. So we have the Page of Pentacles, the High Priest in the reverse, and then the Knight of Wands in the reverse. So some of you, um, with this newfound freedom that you have, Again, during that uh, adjustment period, you may be, um, there may be moments where you feel that maybe you should go back to somebody, maybe you should reconnect with somebody, maybe you should restart something with somebody, give somebody a second chance or something like that. But every time that you start to think or go in that direction, there's something inside of you that just feels yucky. Like, it just feels yucky. Like, mm, you know how like when you have like a stomach um, ache or your stomach is upset over something that you ate or something like that. It, it's kind of like that. It's like, it's okay. You have to adjust to the new. You have to adjust to the doing things differently, doing things by yourself, but it's okay. We got you. You're not really by yourself. That's kind of like what your guys are trying to tell you. Um, They're like, you know what? You're not really by yourself. Just give yourself the time. Yeah, you were used to sleeping next to somebody for, you know, five years and now you have to get used to sleeping by yourself or sleeping, you know, with pillows or whatever it is, but don't worry, we got you, we got you. And it's almost kind of like that energy that keeps on telling you, like, you made the right decision, even if the adjustment period within something um, may make you question yourself when it comes to that adjustment. So now we're going to pull out an oracle card. Now this can be confirmation to the reading. This can be your advice or maybe something that you are unaware of that um, you need to know. All right, one card, Spirit. So we have work through your fears, which is the new moon in Scorpio, right? And and this energy definitely represents what it is, right? When, 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 when we end something and we begin something new, that period of adjustment can sometimes it, it appears or manifests as itself through fear, right? And what do we do when we're fearful or when we, when we fear something? We try to go back to something that we know. We try to go back to something that makes us feel quote unquote safe, something that is comfortable. But when we're in that space of being comfortable, when we're in that space of just the familiar, we do not allow ourselves to truly grow. And that's kind of like what spirit is trying to tell you. Like, even though it may be scary at this moment in time during the adjustment, this is what you need to grow. This is what you need to evolve. Well, guys, that is all I have for you for this week. As always, thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. Thank you to all of those that have been donating. If you have not liked, share, or subscribed, I encourage you to do so. It helps with growing the channel, getting the video out there for more people, as well as keeping me accountable for personal readings. All that information can be found down below in the description. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Mwah! Love you all. Bye-bye.